Welcome to Gazbroth Tutorials. I'm Gazbroth, and today we're going to look at achievements. I know I've already came out with an achievement tutorial, however, it was very simplified and did not cover all the code blocks. There have been updates since that video, so I think it's best just to come out with a new one covering everything. So, in front of me, I have an achievements panel. I have three achievements already created, and I have a cube with a trigger inside. If we go into preview mode, we have our script gizmo and our achievement gizmo. On our achievement gizmo, we can change the displayed name, we can change the number of entries per page, which ranges from one to five. I have our trigger attached to our achievement tutorial script, and then our attributes. Before we get started, we're gonna go into our menu, click on systems, and then achievements. We have three achievements. It's in order to create one, you just click here and a new window pops up. Go to edit and you can change that information. So we have tutorial 01 as our ID, name a simple one, description. We can give it an image if we like. And then we have our achievement type, simple or tracked. If you hover over this eye, it gives you a little more information, simple. Achievements have to be manually set and then tracked achievements will automatically pop based off of a PPV. So if we click on tracked and scroll down, we have a tracked PPV that I have created and then the completion threshold is set to five. So under player variables, so you can click create variable, give it a name, it will be a number. You can edit them, change the name. Under events, if we scroll all the way down, we have a event that will run when the player completes an achievement. We'll get the player's name and the achievement ID. Then under actions, we can set the achievements that will be displayed on the gizmo. Without this set achievement displayed on gizmo code block, these will always be displayed. However, if we don't want them to, or if we only want a certain amount to, we can use this to change the starting amount. So it has to be a string list, and the values will have to be the script ID. We can just pull this in here, and if I reset the world, go to console and reset, and now our gizmo doesn't show any achievements. In order to get the simple ones to pop, we're gonna to go to events, we're gonna find player events, and then when player enters world, we are going to go back to actions, set achievement completed, simple one for player, and then in order to get that achievement to pop, we need to add the achievement ID to the achievement list. So go to operators, find lists, add achievement ID to achievement list, and then we will set the gizmo to show the updated list. So if I reset our script and then go in, simple one pops and then it shows up on our leaderboard. Now we can also check if an achievement has already been completed. Go under operator, scroll all the way down, and then it's has player completed the achievement. So if player has completed simple one, we will then pop simple two. Else, we will pop simple one. Now if I reset it, and go in. Simple two pops and updates, but simple one is not showing. So we need to add simple one to the list. So we're gonna go add achievement ID, go to values, bring in a string input, and we're just gonna add the achievement ID, which is tutorial zero one. Since we already have simple one, we can get rid of that, and we can bring down our if again, and we'll just do the same thing, but for simple two, and we'll just change this to tutorial two. If the player has already completed simple one, it'll add it to the list. It'll set the achievement. If it has already completed simple two, it'll add it to the list. And I'm just gonna throw an else here just so that we can get the first one to pop. And then we need to s update our gizmo here. 
preset and go in. And now simple one and simple two appear on our gizmo. Now to check our tracked one and to update it, we're going to go into our when world is started. We're gonna scroll all the way down and we're gonna connect our trigger, the trigger enter event to a local trigger enter event. Then we're gonna go back to events, find our player events. When trigger is entered by player, we are going to set our PPV. So set player persistent variable track PPV for the player. We're going to increase it by one. So we need a plus sign. We're going to then get our current track PPV for the player and then add one to that. So go back to value, scroll down, get a number input, set that to one. Every time we enter that trigger, our PPV will increase by one, but it will not display the achievement on the achievements until it has been completed. We want it to show up the first time you enter that trigger. So we need to add tutorial three to achievement list. And then we need to set our achievement gizmo to show the updated list. But we don't want this to happen every time we enter the trigger. So we need to wrap it in an if statement. And we need to check if this string is not already in the list. So we're gonna to go to operators, grab a not, scroll all the way down to lists, does list contain item? So if not achievement list contains tutorial three, then we're going to do this. And then we will set our track PPV. So now if I reset it and go in, simple one and simple two appear. And if I add my, put my hand in it, we have an update. So now it says tracked one, this is a tracked achievement, one of five. And we get this little green indicator like a fill around the achievement or picture. If we had a picture, these uh, would actually be the picture that we take. And I can just keep doing this until it pops. And just to recap, we're just going to look at the script quick. When world is started, we are setting our achievement gizmo to show an empty list, which is this list here with zero items. We are connecting our trigger variable to the trigger enter of this trigger to the local event trigger enter, which is this event here. So when the player enters the trigger, it's checking if the achievement list does not already contain tutorial three. If it does not, we're gonna add it to the list. We're gonna set our achievement gizmo to show the updated list and then we're going to increase our tracked PPV by one for the player. Now when the world is entered by the player, we're gonna check if the player has completed simple one. If so, we're going to add tutorial one to the achievements. We are going to set the achievement simple to complete for the player, and then we are going to update our gizmo with the updated list. For setting achievements, you can set them as not completed by just toggling the true to false. So now if it has completed simple one, now it will toggle simple two as off. If the player has not completed simple one, we are just going to set simple one complete for the player and then it's gonna check if the player has completed simple two already. If so, we're gonna add tutorial two to the achievement list and then update our gizmo. When achievement completes for player, we're getting our player, we're getting our achievement ID. This runs for all three of our achievements. It's going to add the achievement ID to the achievement list and then update our gizmo. So now when I reset it, and go in, one and two will pop, the tracked one will not because we're not checking for it.
we all we have to do to fix that is just copy and paste this if change it to tracked one and then change this to three hit enter reset go in and now all three are showing if you have any questions comments or concerns about this video or have any suggestions for future videos please let me know in the comment section below if you like the video, if you learned something, please hit that like button, subscribe, and click on that notification bell so that you are notified of all future videos. My goal for the year is a video a week. So far we are reaching that goal, so wish me luck. Thanks for watching the video and have a good one.